Pittsburgh Steelers are known for their defense, have always been known for their defense. Um, Steel Curtain, Green Joe Green. Yep, we all know that defense. Then the defense with Mike Tomlin still coaching, Troy Palomalu. Man, but this team was good, like really good. Um, right, like, but this NFL draft, but this off season was very, very interesting. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers are going to go up against, in my opinion, the hardest divisional opponents in the NFL. Bengals, Joey B, ice in his face, Lamar. Former MVP, he has ice in his veins. Deshaun Watson, after being out of the NFL for t for a year, he has ice in his veins. Everyone, Pittsburgh is, in my opinion, the worst team in the AFC North division, which doesn't mean they're bad. In my opinion, Pittsburgh is a very, very good team. Like I, I would like in other divisions they go second. It's not like they're a bad team. It's just they're going against competition that is ultra competitive, right? Like doesn't get much worse than this. But um, yeah. Uh, we're gonna take a deep dive into uh what the Steelers did this off season. Look at their NFL draft. And then we're gonna see what I predict for what how well we I think the Steelers are going to do this off season, or how well I think Steelers are going to do this year. Uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Let's hop into the video. All right, so in the Steelers off season, um, I didn't really think that they did anything, honestly. Right, like, but the NFL draft was where Pittsburgh, in my opinion, definitely thrived. Um, they definitely uh, went offense heavy. Five offensive players in the NFL draft. We're going to look at a lot of them and two defensive players because they feel like their defense is already pretty good. I think their defense is very, very good. Um, it's just uh, the cornerbacks are struggling a bit, but I feel like they can fix that. Mike Tomlin's a great coach. Uh, let's take a look at what they did in the first round. The number 20 overall pick, just from the University of Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers selected Kenny Pickett. Uh, Kenny Pickett, um, definitely a good quarterback when he went to um, Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, he was really good. No uh, cap. And they maybe could have waited and get got Malik Willis. I thought that there was nobody realistically on the board to for to be selected other than Kenny Pickett. No true value, but um, yeah, definitely, definitely a good pick here. I'll be excited to see maybe Mitch Church starts, but um, Kenny Pickett definitely going to be the quarterback of the future for this team. The number 52 overall pick in the second round, the Pittsburgh Steelers select George Pickens, um, wide receiver from Georgia, second round pick 52. Um, yeah, Pickett needs weapons. Uh, Deontay Johnson and Clay, Chase Claypool, guess who's up next? George Pickens, Juju Smith-Schuster left. Um, I'm going to be very, very excited to see how George Pickens plays. Definitely a fast receiver. Um, he will go into slot, I believe. But Kenny Pickett, George Pickens, two really, really solid wide receiver, uh, quarterback and wide receiver duo. That I could see potentially coming back in the future, right? Like, this team's good. Just is. Right? Like, Pittsburgh's very, very talented. Um, but... This is a great way to make Pittsburgh a lot more talented. Let's see what their next pick was. And their next pick was in the third round, DeMarvin Leal, defensive end out of Texas A&M at pick 84. Um, uh, did not like this pick a whole lot. I would have went DB, but 
De DeMarvin Leal, definitely a good player from Texas A&M. Watched him. Uh, and for what value was there, um, I definitely think this was a solid pick. But I would have personally won DB. Let's see what they have next. Fourth round, another wide receiver, Calvin Austin. Um, yeah, he's also a good pick for where he was valued. Um, definitely needs some speed on that team. And Pittsburgh used to my used to be, in my opinion, a kind of old team. Like Big Ben retired, he was getting older, right? Like uh, Cameron Hayward's getting older. Stefan Tuitz getting older. Tyson Alualu. Let me know how I can uh, how I can pronounce that. But teams getting older. Um. Yeah. Uh. YouTube question of the day, by the way. Um. What's your favorite lunch, man? What's your favorite lunch? But um. Definitely. Uh. Excited to see how Calvin Austin does. Uh. Nothing really much else that they did in the NFL draft. We were thinking, obviously. But let's look at the Steelers. Um, how I think they'll do next year. Um, do I think they'll make the playoffs? Chances are not. Like, how good of a team is this? I don't know. How much can I really trust this? Who knows, but Pittsburgh definitely, definitely is a good football team. I think they got to uh, develop a little more, but uh, go Steelers. Uh, before, uh, right, like, the reason why I don't have them going, making the playoffs is because, like, Lamar's just unreal to start off, so that's Owen to Lamar's just Lamar. In my opinion, Joe Burrow is easily the best pocket passer in the NFL. Please tell me. I mean, you can maybe say Mahomes or Allen, but they're really good at throwing on the run. I think Burrow's a Brady type, but yeah. Sean Watson is just on a god-tier Cleveland Brown team. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see what happens. I really think seven and ten is a good spot for his team. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll be really excited to think to see what you guys think about what I had, what I've thought about this Pittsburgh Steelers team. Please, please, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a great day. Peace.